guys, it is Friday. I got there, it's Friday. It's been like a month since I've done a vlog, um, mainly because I started a new medication. And then I had Chris over for a couple of weeks, and I just, I haven't had the energy to vlog. I still rarely, really even have the energy to vlog, but I figured... I need to start vlogging again because vlogging is something that made me happy. And so even though it's like really hard to do right now, I should start doing it again. So here we are. Um, it's also very windy outside. We have a high wind warning. We've had one for the last couple days. It's really bad last night, but it's still really windy out. So if you can hear the tree, which you probably can. Or if you can hear the creaking of my 800-year-old window, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I started a new medication called Venlafaxi. And I had some good hopes about it because I was like, you know what? I've never been on a medication like this. Um, so I start the medication and I all, all of a sudden off the bat, I have anxiety. But... In the beginning, it was self-induced anxiety. It was because of me that I was anxious. I was making myself anxious. And I was trying to make myself not anxious. So I was trying to calm myself down. And then I'd calm down. But then I'd be anxious about it again. And then it was this like, cycle of like getting anxious and telling myself to calm down. And then getting anxious. and It was a lot. And then I was like, you know what? I'm fine, actually. I think this might be okay. And then I go back to the psychiatrist. And she's like, let's double the dose. And I had only been on the medication for a week. And I was like... Usually they don't double doses, like they don't up your dose this fast. And she's like, well, some physicians decide to wait, some don't. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to wait. And I was like, oh, I just, I was under the impression that I had to wait. She said, no. And I was like, okay. And she doubled the dose. And then I got worse. <clears throat> but this time my anxiety wasn't self-induced anymore. Also, I was exhausted all the time. And usually you're exhausted on medications. And so I was like, this sucks. And then she doubled the dose, and I was so stupid exhausted, like, beyond belief. Like, it was so unreal, the amount of exhaustion that I had. And then my anxiety and this and that, a couple weeks later, I go back to the psychiatrist, and I'm like, I can't do this anymore. This is, like, the last straw. Like, I'm going to have a mental breakdown. <laughs> And so she's like, okay, we can cut back on the meds and we can take you off this and stuff like that. Because it just, it wasn't working. Um, <clears throat> so we lowered back down on the meds and it's been a few days. Melanie, did I ask you? And it's been doing a little bit better. Um, I'm still kind of bad though with my anxiety and depression. Which kind of really sucks. Um, and I went... I, it was really bad, and then I went to therapy, and it didn't get a whole lot better, but it got a little bit better. But my anxiety and depression are still, like, this high. And I don't know why. It's probably the medication or something, but, like, I'm so over it. I just want to be normal. I just, I don't know. And I'm used to constant anxiety, but not like this. And I'm used to being sad, depressy boy, but not like this. Like, it's just, it's taken everything to, like, a different level. To where, like, yeah, I have constant anxiety usually, but this is, like, constant anxiety times 12. And then we're going to add in a few things here. So, like, here, have this with your anxiety, too. And then usually I'm used to being, like, sad, depresso boy. And then... It's going to be like, oh, well, you're also anxious, so you're going to have this and this and this, too. And it just keeps adding stuff on, and I'm like, nah. So, whatever. So, <laughs> I'm doing a little bit better today. It's just really hard, because I start doing a little bit better, and then mo as the day goes on, and it gets later and later and later, the more sad boy depresso that I end up getting. Sorry. I had an alarm set on my phone. <laughs> The more sad boy, depresso boy I end up getting throughout the day, and I don't know how to stop it. I, uh, I'm just waiting until I get off this medication, which should be in a couple more days. In a couple more days, I'll be able to get off this medication. We're going to try another medication. 
And then if that one doesn't work, because no medication seem to work for me. They always make me worse. They make my anxiety and depression worse. Sometimes they don't make it worse until I up the dose. But they, in general, just make me worse. I don't know what it is. So I'm going to try this medication. If it doesn't work, then I'm like... I'm not trying medications anymore if this next one doesn't work. Because this would be, like, medication number, like, seven in the last, like, five years. And, like, I'm over it. So... Uh, I'm done. So, I've been dealing with that, and that's a lot of fun. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I figured if I started vlogging again, maybe that would, like, increase my mood a little bit more throughout the day. And I've been wanting to vlog, so it's not like I haven't been wanting to. I just haven't really had the energy for it. And, ow, Melanie, Jesus. <laughs> And, I don't know, dumb, depressive boy excuses, but I'm like, maybe if I start doing this again, because it's something I really liked, it would help me. So, I'm doing this, and we'll see how it goes, I guess, because I'll be off it in a couple days. Well, I'll be off it, but I'll still have the effects of it, and then I'll be trying a new one. But, maybe vlogging will help me, or something through the next one and getting off of this one and then just in general like I miss vlogging like I love editing vlogs on the computer and I love filming things and talking um so I don't know why I stopped at first I, I stopped because Chris came over for a couple weeks and I didn't want to just like vlog I wanted to just like be able to just hang out with him while he was over, and he was over for a couple weeks. Um, so, there was that, and then I was just, my mood was, like, outrageous in 14 different ways. So, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully, pretty well. I think it should help. I feel like the only thing I might have trouble with is the editing part, because editing takes a little while. But I don't do intensive, like, editing. Like, I don't do a lot of, like, edits and stuff like that for my vlogs. But it does take time, so then it's, it's something to where I'm going to have to, like, schedule it into my day. Quote, unquote, I never schedule. I just pop it on my computer and start going. But... I feel like that's the only pro problem I might end up having and the main reason why I haven't been doing vlogs is because of my depression and stuff like that. Like, I don't really have the energy and attention span to sit there and edit for said amount of time, depending on how long it, it takes. It, it's different every time. But <clears throat> I don't want to say I'm going to start vlogging and then it's really hard for me to edit and then... It takes super long, whatever. I'm just gonna do it anyways. But that's the only part that I think I should have trouble with. Which I think will be okay. I think I can get through that. Even if it's hard in the beginning, which it definitely will be hard in the beginning. But if I can get through that, then we'll be honky-dory, you know? Anyways, enough about that. It was super rainy out yesterday. It poured all day. And then later in the night, it was like 1 a.m. or something, the internet went out. And I was like, well, and the power had flickered. So I was like, well, I don't know if I want to be awake if the power goes out, because then I'll be more depressed. Because it's already late as is. And then my mood gets worse as the day goes on. So I'll just be more depressed if the power goes out, too, and it's in the middle of the night. So I'm like, I don't know, I'll just lay in bed. So I laid in bed with my kitties. And then my cell service dropped, and at first I thought it was my plant, my actual account thingy, because I had gone overdue on my account by a couple days, and so they shut my phone off, and then, like, the day after they shut my phone off, I paid it. And so I was like, maybe it's that, because when my phone service came back on, which I turned it back on yesterday morning, 
when my friend phone service came back on, I didn't restart my phone. Usually when you're, you restart your phone because it helps and stuff like that. I was like, maybe I got to restart my phone. So I restarted my phone. It didn't help anything. So I'm like, yeah, I don't have cell service. So in the middle of the night, I don't have cell service. I don't have internet. The power might go out. And I was like, my, I'm just going to get worse and worse. I need to go to bed. So I laid there with my cats in my own head thinking about who the heck knows what usually i try to put myself in like a different world and then i ended up falling asleep yeah i've been struggling a lot and i need to like i need to do something i don't i don't know i need to do something i got to do more maybe maybe i got to just force myself to do something more because I feel like, yeah, it's a medication, but I also feel like it's also me. Like, if I don't do something, then I'm going to stay in this continuous loop, and it'll get better when I get off the medication, but it'll still be there. So I feel like I gotta do something. And last time I went to therapy, we're starting DBT therapy. I, I haven't been here in, like, a month, so sorry about this. I have borderline personality disorder. Um, so we started BDT therapy, which is basic distress tolerance skills. And on one of these pages, she has, um, there's stuff about, like, coping skills and, um, all that jazz. And then there's, there's one thing that I do know I gotta do. I gotta do one of these, and I haven't done one of these, and I gotta do one of these. She wants me to put one of these statements into my everyday life for like like instead of like self-destructing ways of like talking to myself these are radical acceptance coping statements and then use over time i'll end up believing it and it'll it's a good thing so there's like a ton of different ones like i can't change what's already happened it's no use fighting the past Yada, 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 stuff like that. So, I should probably adopt one of those into my everything. Um, and then, <clears throat> what I wanted to bring up was, there's a, it's called The Big List of Pleasurable Activities. And it's a front and back sheet of paper. Some of them are checked off because there's stuff I've already done. She wanted me to do at least five of these. And... I'm going back in like a week and then she wanted one for me to do that I don't normally do and I was like yeah I can do this and like of course I'm feeling better from going to therapy and talking to my therapist that I, I've already done I've already done four on here and that was all like I don't even know but anyways I should probably do more of these because these will help because like these are kind of silly because there's like play video games and stuff there's tons of stuff on here, like anything from like eating chocolate and ice cream to going shopping, getting a haircut, cooking, hanging out with your animal, like just stuff like that. Um, but I should probably do more of the things that are on this list because I'm thinking maybe they'll help me feel better and then, because I've been playing video games and watching YouTube. But if I'm doing that every day, there's only so much that can help. So I gotta, like, change it up. Especially if I do want to get better. Because, literally, I I can't stand it anymore. It's so much. And it's getting in the way of everything. And I, oh, I just, I can't stand it anymore. So I gotta, I'm gonna do one of those. I'm gonna do something. Um... And I gotta finish up to a certain page or whatever before I go to therapy next. And then we're gonna finish the rest of that chapter. And then we're gonna start chapter two. DBT therapy is like a workbook. And it's like coping skills, strategies, different ways to think about things. Um, yada, yada, yada. So, that'll be fun. It was funny though, I got home from therapy. I was like, my therapist gave me homework. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. I just hope this whole thing ends up helping. 
And I think I should, because vlogging is something I used to do, used to enjoy, something I used to, like, really freaking love doing. Then I stopped doing it, and then a week later, I think it was, like, a week later, Chris ended up coming over, and then I just, I haven't had the energy for it. And I still don't have the energy for it. And the hardest part is just, was getting it started, and I got it started. Because I know, like, that's why it's the hardest part, because, like, you get it started, and then you have, like, this whole thing, and you're like, now I gotta finish this, I gotta finish it, I gotta find the time, I gotta find the energy, and I have to finish it. Either that, or, like, I don't finish it, I delete the footage, and then you never know. But, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> so... The hardest part was starting it, and then the second hardest part is going to be editing it, I think. I feel like that's going to be the hardest part because that takes, like, time, and it's going to take, like, my full attention for that certain amount of time. I feel like that might be the hardest. This vlog is just me talking about the same things over and over, and I'm so sorry. There won't be that much to talk about in... All that other jazz. There won't, there just won't be a lot for a few days. And I hope y'all are okay with that. But I need to get back in the habit of doing something like this. I have to get back in the habit of having like a structured schedule. And doing the vlogging will help. So a lot of the vlogs might be nonsense. And a lot of the vlogs might just be me sitting here talking about the same things over and over again. But it's something I need to do. So <sighs> skip through the parts where I ramble on about something I just talked about five minutes ago. I don't care, but this is something I, I gotta do. And maybe in editing, I'll, fig I'll fix it. I don't know how much editing will even be in this one. But that's okay. I'm gonna go watch this YouTube video, drink my coffee. That's another thing. I even stopped drinking coffee, and like, yesterday I made coffee, so I didn't wake up till one. And that coffee lasted me until like, two in the morning. And I didn't even finish the coffee, I just dumped it out. Like, that's... And it wasn't a 12-ounce coffee, it was a 10-ounce. And so, like, that's the amount of coffee I drink during the days recently. Like, like, I'm lucky if I finish one cup of coffee, and that one cup of coffee will last me literally the entire time I'm awake. So, it's not the coffee that's making me anxious. I ruled that out, like, really soon on. I was like, maybe it's the coffee. So I, like, stopped, and I'm like... I feel the same. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go. Hopefully you guys are having a good day and stuff like that. Um, hopefully I have something more interesting to up you, they update you guys about later. I don't know. Heck if I know. But I'll see you guys later. Hi guys, it is Monday. I'm going to my psychiatrist right now. I'm just waiting in the car for my brother. So my car's not inspected. Uh, and neither is his. And we both got an appointment today. So, just like last... Tuesday I think it was we're meeting each other at my mom's work and then hopping over to my uh first his appointment actually because his appointment's first this time and then to my appointment and then back here so and then just hope I don't get pulled over because my car's not inspected on the way home but I have breaks and stuff coming this Thursday so I'll have my brakes done. I still need to do spark plugs. I still have summer tires on my car and it snowed yesterday. So I'm like, oh, and it's supposed to snow like Wednesday, Thursday this week, I think. And I still have summer tires on my car. Yikes. <laughs> but besides, um, I, I need spark plugs not to get inspected, really. I just need them. Um, so I need spark plugs. I need not summer tires because it's going to be winter soon. <laughs> And then, uh, other than that, my tires are fine. Like, I could get inspected fine, but, like, it's almost winter. Um, uh, what else? I need the brakes because, just in general, I need those to get my car inspected. And my brakes kind of suck right now. And then I also need to replace my EVAP system because that's all bonky Kong. So, a few things I gotta fix. Slowly but surely. Um, but yeah, I'm waiting for my brother. He was supposed to be here at 1 because I was supposed to meet him here at 1. And then my brother being my brother, he's not here. I'm not too worried, though. His appointment's first. Like, if he's late to his own appointment, that's his own fault. Like, my appointment ain't till 3. His is at 2. Like, whatever. That's that's on him. <laughs> but, yeah, I woke up this morning because Adonis was in my room. And it was probably, like, maybe 7. 
I didn't look at the time, but I know my mom was still home getting ready for work. So I think it was around 7. And I fell back asleep and I woke up around 10. And I was going to get up because I really didn't feel all that bad. So I was like, yeah, I'll get up. And I was like, well, I don't really have anything to do. And I don't have to leave the house until 1230. So... I'm just gonna lay here, maybe fall back asleep. So I fell back asleep, and then I woke up at 12.15, and I was like, I gotta leave in 15 minutes. So I, like, got up, got dressed, got ready, um, and then left, which, um, I didn't get to make coffee this morning. I wish I was able to make it. I could have made it if I knew my brother was gonna be, like, this late, but I didn't know my brother was gonna be this late. I actually kind of hoped he'd be on time. Whatever, I could have made coffee this morning. I didn't make coffee this morning. So, I'm coffee-less. I'll make coffee when I get home. But, I'm getting off these current medication, this current medication that I'm on, because this current medication sucks. I did talk about that. Um, so, today should be the last day. I should be able to just get off them, because I'm doing a lot better. Um, everything seems to be slowly improving since I dropped the dose back down um and I mean to be honest may maybe she could keep me on this and then we can go up again later and like maybe it was too soon to go up but like I really don't want to be on this medication it's still my anxiety still pretty bad um so we're probably just gonna try the new medication and if that medication doesn't work for me then like whatever I guess I'll figure something else out. I've been thinking about medical marijuana and stuff like that because it's pretty much my only option after this. Um, and I've done weed in the past and all it did was make me more anxious. But there was a couple of strains. I don't know what they were because, like, when you buy weed, you don't, like, ask the strain or something. But I've never bought weed. My friend would buy weed and then she, we'd smoke together every once in a while, but it wasn't that often, because every time I smoked weed, I would get super paranoid, but there was, like, I think, like, two or three different times that, shut up, <laughs> that I, I didn't get paranoid at all, and I was fine, I just don't know what the strains were, and I know, I can google it, because I know there's certain strains that, um, are helpful for it, and I can always just try those and stuff, but if this another, if this other medication doesn't work, that's probably what I'm gonna end up leaning towards and hopefully that'll help because at this point I've been on so many different medications and every single one of them make me worse in either the anxiety or depression department or both departments like every single medication makes me feel worse and I don't know why um and I've been on a lot of medications over the years so after this medication if it doesn't work I'm just gonna try medical marijuana or see if I can get my doctor to be okay with me trying medical marijuana or something because that's like the only thing I got after this so I don't know I kind of do hope the medication does work for me though because like I'm sick of medications not working for me so hard like I just want something to work oh my god so yeah anyways I'm just waiting for my brother and then I might not be able to talk to you guys later but I did do a lot of talking and blabbering in the last clip that I did the other day on Friday I think it was so I'm just gonna go and hopefully I make another vlog this week I think I should um just making that last clip even though I haven't edited it I made it into a full vlog because I wanted to add more to it and stuff like that um it definitely did help me make help make me feel better so I am gonna keep vlogging I don't think it's gonna be like every day like it used to be like every weekday I don't think it's gonna be like that Maybe one day it'll be like that, but for right now, just, like, a couple days a week, I'll put one up, I think. I think that'll work for me. Yeah. So. Anywho, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna wait for my brother. He should be here in a couple minutes. Go to my appointment. And I'll see you guys whenever I do, hopefully in the next couple days, so. I don't know. Hope you guys are doing well, better than me. <laughs> and just having, I don't know, a good time enjoying life. I'll see you guys next.